Hi, YouTubers. Something important, so anyway, I'm in the garage again, my, par my parents' house. Guess what I'll be doing? Smoking nice big ass cigars, the big ass cigar for life. The house of keeping, smoking this Grand Habano cigar, nice big ass cigar, and I'm not drinking anything. So, anyway, that's a house of keeping. So, Anyway, hopefully this cigar will be better than the last one, because the last one really sucked for a better word. So, anyway, the last one had a, a terrible knot. So, unfortunately, I was basically unsmokable. I wasted, like, half the damn cigar. So, anyway, uh, let's get this bad boy fired up. One sec. One sec. One sec. <sighs> Sorry. Trying to get the, <coughs> excuse me, trying to get the damn cigar light. One sec. Anyway, <sighs> cigar's a little spitty. Uh, sorry. Okay, it's finally lit. Uh, oh yeah, cigar's definitely better. So car going by. Uh, yeah, cigar's definitely a, a hell of a lot better. So I can, I can already tell. Uh, Oh yeah, the draw is a lot more open, so uh, that's good because the last one was totally sucked for a better word. Anyway, one sec, YouTubers. Sorry about that, YouTubers. That's just my mother. So uh, you've probably seen her in our videos. Uh, she's coming back from home from a walk. So uh, it's kind of a snowy day uh, here in Massachusetts. Uh, so here in Massachusetts, it's a very snowy day. Uh, we're getting some uh, flurries right now. Uh, nice big-ass flurries like the big-ass cigar. Not McFlurries, you know. Uh, not the McFlurries at McDonald's, you know. Uh, but uh, flurries in terms of snow. Uh, yeah, we're getting uh, some uh, snow right now. Nice big-ass snow like the big-ass cigar. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's kind of, um, I'd say kind of a crappy day right now. So uh, yeah, I'm surprised, you know, you know, yeah. So it's kind of a not great day to be out because it's kind of windy and kind of cold, you know, kind of cold ass, like the big ass cigar. And it's kind of like, you know, yeah, kind of uh, cold and windy and also very snowy outside right now. It's supposed to stop pretty soon. Uh, Anyway, so I'm just leaning back because the car's in the garage. My dad's car's in the garage. So anyway, let's uh, talk about what I want to talk about right now. So uh, anyway, so t today uh, I woke up around uh, 9.30 or so. Uh, excuse me. Around 9.30. And um, I had my breakfast. I took a shower. Uh, did some routines. And then... Uh, um, I went with my dad uh, to do some errands, and we went to uh, a place in my town. I'm not gonna say where I live. It's called Ocean State, uh, which is basically like a warehouse store, and uh, that was fun, kind of fun, fun ass, like the big ass cigar, that kind of crap, you know. And uh, yeah, then we went to a gas station. Yeah, we went to a, a gas station, uh, and at the gas station, I bought uh, two lottery tickets. Uh, yeah, nice big ass lottery tickets, like you know, you know, scratch off tickets, you know, lotto tickets, uh, 
uh, and I do gamble in moderation, so uh, I'm not addicted to, ga to gambling. Uh, gambling is not a problem for me, so uh, um, I bought um, a one dollar scratch ticket, scratch off ticket, you know, a lotto ticket, uh, and I won uh, two dollars, and then I spent the two dollars on another uh, two dollar uh, lotto ticket or scratch off ticket. Some people, some people call them lotto tickets, some people call them uh, lottery tickets, some people call them uh, scratch off tickets or scratch offs. I just call them lottery tickets, so uh, lottery tickets, L O T T E R Y, so lottery tickets, uh, because they're sold by the lottery, so the Massachusetts lottery. Ooh, yeah, the cigar has a little bit of a knot in it. Ooh, that's not good. I can I can already feel a knot around the head. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I hope this cigar will be smokable because I spent ten bucks on these two cigars. Yeah, that's not good. I wonder if these are two duds because usually these Grand Habanos are pretty damn decent, pretty damn nice. But I can feel a pretty big knot around the head. Let me try to roll it around a little bit. That's what Cigar Obsession Brian Glenn says to um kind of roll around near the head. I don't really have anything I can, well, I kind of have things over there I can stick through it. <laughs> Didn't sound right. Uh, but I really don't want to do that because I'll kind of uh, ruin the cigar. So uh, maybe if I try to, let me just try this first. Just, just hang on one sec, YouTubers. Okay. I took another like, uh, like uh, three quarters of an inch off. Let's see if this works. Problem solved. Okay, that's what it was. So for people who don't know, a lot of times um, what it is is you just didn't take enough off the cigar. So, okay, problem solved. Summer's going by. Uh, yeah, so that was just what it was. Is I just hadn't uh, cut, a, cut, cut enough off the cigar. So uh, this is my little cigar cutter right here. Uh, and yes, I realize it's a crappy cigar cutter, but um, what it was was I hadn't cut enough off the cigar. So uh, and basically it was it was making a tight draw, like a very tight ass draw, like the big ass cigar. Uh, anyway, problem solved. So back to what I was saying, you know, we went to, um, you know, Ocean State and we went to a gas station. I bought uh, lottery tickets. I was, I was talking about, you know, lottery tickets, how some people, um, uh, sorry, I lost my track of thought. Um, some people call them lotto tickets. Some people call them, I think it depends on the state also and depends on what kind of you know, what part of the country you come from or what country you come from in general, you know. Uh, some people call them lotto tickets. Some people call them lottery tickets. Some people call them scratch-off tickets or scratch-off cards. I just call them lottery tickets because they're sold by the Massachusetts Lottery. So, uh, anyway. I also bought, at the gas station, I also bought a uh, black and mild cigarello, so a uh, nice big ass cigarello, like the big ass cigar. And uh, the guy was supposed to card me because they have a sign in that store that says, it's a mobile gas station that says, we card everybody for tobacco, uh, prepare to show ID. The guy didn't card me. I'm like, holy hell, it's like, you know, that's the second time that's happened because I know it's not the same employee. Um, I was in there, I think it was like a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. And, uh, you know, it, I saw the sign that says we card everybody, we, we, we card everybody for uh, tobacco, um, you know, prepare to show ID, you know, valid photo ID. I was fully expecting the woman to card me, you know, to, to ask my ID and she didn't card me. I was like, holy shit. It's like, you know, holy shit, you know, and then, um, then this time, you know, I was expecting the guy to card me because it was a different employee. Uh, last time it was a woman, now it was a man. And um, I was fully expecting him to card me. He didn't card me. So uh, I must really be looking around that age where, I, and I was wearing a mask because uh, I'm still a little bit, you know, iffy about going into a public building uh, because of the whole coronavirus thing. So, uh, I'm still a little bit iffy about it. You know, not wearing a not wearing a mask in a public building because uh, obviously COVID is still an issue. So, uh, um, but yeah, I was 
I was wearing my mask and I was fully expecting him. To, I mean, I had shaved today. I had shaved my beard today. Uh, obviously, my mask was covering my beard, but I was, you know, fully expecting him to check my ID and he didn't check my ID. Now, obviously, for the last fucking time, obviously, I am, you know, 30 years old. I'll be 31 in a couple months in April. So, obviously, what he did was perfectly legal. I mean, what he did was perfectly legal because obviously when you're 30 years old, almost 31, you're a grown ass man like the big ass cigar. Obviously what he did was perfectly legal. So it's not, it's not like he broke the law or anything like that. But I would I would hope that that gas station is careful because, you know, I, I would hate to see something bad happen to them because, you know, that's how, you know, over the years, a lot of places around here have gotten into trouble. So being, you know, too loosey goosey with carding, it didn't sound right. You know, I hope, uh, you know, they are careful because, you know, there's been a couple, I'm not going to mention any names, I'm not going to name any businesses, I'm not going to dox any businesses, you know, uh, because that's obviously against YouTube's rules. But I mean, it's like, there's been a few businesses around here over the years in my town and near, and near where I live uh, that have gone into some serious shit. It's like, you know, uh, they've gone into a lot of serious crap because they're, they're too loosey-goosey with carding. Uh, <clears throat> there was one business um, uh, <clears throat> about 15 years back, I'm not going to say the name of the business, because obviously that's doxing, you know, I'm not going to mention the name of the business, you know, uh, but it was a liquor store, I'll say it was a liquor store, a package store, uh, and basically uh, uh, they were caught like three times selling alcoholic beverages to a minor, uh, and they finally lost their license for like uh, two or three months, so, um, and then they finally just never really bounced back and unfortunately went out of business, so uh, I hope the gas station is careful, because uh, yeah, somebody my age, yeah, somebody who's almost 31, probably not terribly irresponsible not to card the person. But if you have a store policy, I mean, you have a fucking store policy that says you check everyone's ID, you really should be honoring it. Because I know Ocean State... Ocean State and Wegmans and, you know, um, BJ's, which is a, like a warehouse store... <laughs> they have a store policy that um, everyone shows ID period for alcohol and they obviously honor that and they obviously, obviously check everyone's, you know, they have a 100% pr proof proofing policy, uh, proofing policy, P-R-O-O-F-F, P-R-O-O-F-I-N-G, -P proofing, proofing policy that everyone shows ID and they're very strict about it, you know. It's a little bit different with tobacco because obviously when somebody buys tobacco, I'm not justifying a sale to a mine. I'm not glorifying in any way, shape, or form because that's obviously against YouTube's rules. But it's a little bit different with tobacco because it's not like somebody's going to drive drunk and kill somebody, you know. But it's still irresponsible. I would hate to see. It's not that I'm so much worried that, you know, you know, some kid's going to go in there and, you know, buy something, you know, buy the shit. It's like, you know, I'm more concerned they're going to get hit by, like, a sting or something like that. I'm more concerned, like, oh, they're going to be too irresponsible, and then the Board of Health or the police are going to do a sting operation, and they're going to get in a lot of shit, you know, a lot of happy horse shit. So, or not happy horse shit. It's actually, it's actually not happy, not a happy ass like the big ass cigar. It's actually very bad horse shit. So, very bad shit. So, That's what I'm more concerned about. It's like, you know, they're too, like, you know, loosey-goosey of carding. And there's definitely been some places around here. I'm not going to say the names again. It's like, you know, again, I'm not here to dox brands or make fun of brands. Or, like, because obviously YouTube has, you know, very, very um, tough rules regarding that kind of stuff. You know, any kind of, like, outing of any people or any business, you know. But it's like... There have definitely been some businesses around here uh, that are way too, way too loosey goosey of carding. Uh, nice big ass goose like the big ass cigar, uh, and um, they end up getting into a lot of trouble. So uh, I hope they're kind of damn careful of checking ID. So uh, yeah, am I surprised they didn't check my ID? In some ways, no. I mean, again, so, like I said before, uh, somebody my age, I'm actually not surprised because, uh, I mean, yeah, somebody my age, I clearly look over 21. You have to be 21 to buy tobacco in the United States now uh, as of 2020 uh, on a federal level now, uh, including in Massachusetts, uh, Massachusetts, uh, be so damn cold here, damn hot here, damn, damn, damn. Uh, um, you know, I clearly look over 21. 
I mean, I clearly look at least, I'd say, a bare minimum of 24, 25. And yes, I'm 30 years old, almost 31. Oh, car going by. But yeah, I mean, I clearly look over 21. I've, I've had actually people say to me, you know, if I was selling to you nowadays, I wouldn't card you. It's like, you're not going to say who, but you get the freaking point. So it's like, yeah, I mean, I clearly look over 21. I clearly look over 18. So, and you only have to be 18 to buy scratch off tickets or lottery tickets, you know, or lotto tickets. So I wouldn't expect somebody to card me for lottery. It's like, you know, I haven't been carded for lottery for over a year. So, I don't think anybody would, would card me for lottery unless they were just being super fucking careful in general. It's like, you know, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone would card me for lottery. It's like, you know, uh, you only have to be 18 to buy lottery. It's like, you know, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone would, would card me for lottery because uh, I clearly, clearly, clearly look, uh, you know, over uh, 18. I mean, I'd say a bare minimum of 23, 24, 25. Uh, and, you know, I'm clearly almost 31. It's like, you know, uh, Unless, of course, the store had a store policy, which is actually one gas station I've been to. Uh, I'm not going to say which one it was. Yeah, that's doxing, obviously. But uh, um, there was one gas station I went to in a couple towns over from me, uh, a couple cities over from me. Uh, and um, they had a policy that everyone showed ID for uh, uh, tobacco and lottery. So, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, maybe that gas station would scan my ID and check my ID. But... Uh, um, I think your average, you know, average ass gas station, like the big ass cigar, I don't think they would check my ID for uh, lottery tickets uh, or lotto tickets, you know, scratch off tickets, you know, like quick picks, you know, mega millions, uh, Powerball tickets, you know. Uh, because, I mean, you just look at me, I mean, you look at the, the, the facial appearance, it's a little bit difficult when you're wearing a mask because of COVID, you know, but I mean, you obviously say, yeah, that person looks at least 18 years old. I can say without a single doubt in my freaking mind, that person clearly looks 18 years old and really probably clearly looks, looks 21. Now, obviously in a restaurant, you know, if they're being careful ass like the big ass cigar, I wouldn't be surprised in a restaurant if I got carded for alcohol. It's like, you know, if I went to a bar, if I went to a restaurant, a sit down restaurant and, you know, I was, they didn't know me. It's like, especially if they didn't, they didn't know me, if, if they asked for my ID, it's like, you know, there's been times over the past, you know, year or so, you know, they've checked, you know, people have asked my ID for alcohol. It's like, I mean, alcohol is a totally different ball game. It's like lotto tickets, scratch off tickets. Yeah. You don't want kids getting their hands on them because gambling is a very bad addiction. It's a very bad fucking addiction, you know, but I mean, in terms of like, you know, alcohol is a totally different, different ball game. Because of all, because of all like the drunk driving stuff, it's like, you know, Obviously, alcohol is so much more dangerous than, like, you know, lottery tickets or, like, uh, for example, you know, like tobacco. It's like, you know, I mean, tobacco causes more deaths annually, but alcohol causes a lot more imminent, you know, in, in immediate risk to a person's safety and health. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of the bottom line is, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I went to a bar like I had never been there before and they said, yeah, can I see your ID for alcohol? That wouldn't surprise me even at my age, at, at almost 31. So, and that's why I'm getting a new ID card in April because my ID card expires in April and I have to get a new ID card, the DMV or the RMV. So, uh, because, uh, ID card in Massachusetts is only good for five years. So yeah, every five years I have to renew my ID card. So yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, it doesn't surprise me if even if at 30, 30 or 31, a bar still asks for my ID because I mean, they card people who are 34 or 35. It's like, you know, I've seen people in the, you know, the typical ass liquor store I go to who clearly look 33 or 35 or 37 and they still check their ID. It's like, you know, it's not actually that uncommon. Obviously, just being fucking careful for a better word, you know. Uh, anyway, anyway, so, um, yeah, I guess, I guess my my point after ten minutes of rambling or or fifteen minutes of rambling is, uh, I just hope the store is careful because 
you know, I like that store a lot. I like buying lottery tickets. I like buying uh, cigars and that store, cigarettes and that store. And I, I just hope they're careful because I would hate to see them go out of business, you know, uh, or have something bad happen to them, you know, uh, or for them to get like yelled at. So, uh, I guess I just hope they're careful. They're careful for for a better word. Anyway, that's about it for me. So almost twenty minutes. Not gonna make this video much longer. Um, yeah. So uh, you'll probably see me tomorrow uh, for my uh, typical, you know, typical ass videos. Uh, you know, tomorrow uh, my ramble Sunday. You know, uh, I'll do my my series on operating systems, which is almost over. Uh, my series on rocks, not my series, not my series on cocks. You know, rocks. Uh, um, I'll do my series on my uh, throwback video, uh, my uh, weight vlog video. So. Uh, So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.